Greetings. Then I just want to remind you that the world is yours. That you have the power, you have the authority over this entire world. You've been given mind and speech. And you're the only creature on, the, on this planet that has mind and speech. Which means you are the rightful owner and governor. Therefore, everything that you behold without, it is within. Therefore, you have the right to live in abundance, good health, success, prosperity, and lots of money. Now, look at nature. And you see nature always bring forth bountifully. And you are the ruler over nature. Because as I said before, everything on the outside is teaching you that you are the perceiver beholding the perception on the outside. So it's a reflection of that which is within you. So when I say that the world is yours, think about anything in this world that came here by way of an inventor or one who came up with the idea and you would realize that we are living in a mental world. We are all living and vibrating on thoughts because we vibrate on certain frequency being a mass of energy and the whole secret of the universe is based on energy vibration and frequency therefore when you understand that this world and everything that you behold it out it based on energy vibration and frequency and you realize that you are the energy you know that you are the intelligence therefore you are the apparent power to operate the energy to transmute it into the equivalent of whatever you desire because the energy is the invisible substance from the invisible world therefore you must tap into your invisible self and take whatever you desire out of the invisible world to use your, your invisible tools or faculties that was given to you that make you a ruler you must be the god of your world so when you read about god creating the world do not think of one individual one entity outside of yourself that has all the power no, that power is within you and it is within all. That is why it's one power because it's a universal power. There's only one universal consciousness. Therefore, whatever you're reaping on the outside, it is a reflection of the world you are creating. So if there is lack and scarcity in your life, that is the world that you are living in because you put yourself in a world of lack and scarcity. You see, when you understand everything is mental and everything is psychological and everything is a reflection of that is what that which is within, then you will realize everyone that is having this human experience, they are creating their world. And what world are you creating? The most important thing is to tap into your creativity, tap into your ability, tap into your calling, your purpose. And use your ability for the upliftment and advancement of all of humanity. Because you'll understand that there's only one world. You'll understand there's only one creative power. You'll, you'll understand that everything that you see that we depend upon it is because others were able to tap into their creativity. So there's a world of creativity. And we must tap into the world of, of creativity. And whatever we express outwardly, that's our world. Own your world. The world is yours. Your world. Your mindset. I cannot have a thought for you. You cannot have a thought for me. That's the power that has been given to you. And the same power that has been given to me. You have 24 hours. I have 24 hours. We all have been given equal amount of this precious invisible infinite power that we can use to achieve our every desire so none was given more than the other we all have been given a gift so my brother my sisters that gift that has been given to you is to create your world and own your world and be the master and ruler of your world do you realize that you're the lord and master of your destiny because it is your own damn thoughts that is creating your reality 
creating your personality. So there is no one to change but yourself. And there's no one to blame but yourself. You're the cause of everything that is happening in your life. Everything that you see that reflecting on the outside, it's only an effect of the cause. And you're always the cause. The cause always takes place within. You have to go to the root of the problem or the situation if you want to fix the problem or the situation. And that is why it tells you the one with the Christ mind, the one who, is it, who has the higher mind, the one who is in his God self and operating in his God power, he can speak anything into a being and solve the problem. That's why when you read about Christ, you're reading about the problem solver. Well, in each and every one of us is the problem solver. The power to create, the power to heal, the power to mold. And that is why you're told that this same one power can use in different ways. That's why you say, I am God and there's no other. He said, I am the one who kill and the one who make alive. I'm the one who wound and the one who heal. So my brothers and my sisters, is what kind of world you want to create. You can create a world with a devil in it and blame a devil outside of yourself. You can create a world with problems and worries and pointing fingers at others. You could create a world whereby you believe that politicians are the ones supposed to take care of you. You can build a world whereby you believe some preacher supposed to govern over you and take one-tenth of what you work for every month. The choice is yours. You can believe whatever you want to believe. That is you creating your world. That is you ruling over your world. And so some people can give their world to be ruled by others in terms of giving their minds over to others. It is called conformity. But you're told not to be conformed, but be transformed by what? The renewing of your mind. It means you're taking control of your mind. It means you must be able to think for yourself. It is saying that you can only transform your world and transform your life by learning to think for yourself. So it is saying there comes a time in your life that you have to be responsible for yourself and learn to think for yourself because everything was taught to you from a child. So then you must be able to say, when I was a child, I think like a child, I act like a child, I behave like a child. But when I become a man, I put away childish things. When you grow up and you become more mature and you understand self-knowledge and you, you understand self-mastery and, and you understand self-love, when you start to understand those things and you start to build your world, you want to build the most perfect world that you can build, which is, in other words, saying that you would become the best version of yourself. So you see how important for you to understand that your greatest resource or your greatest possession is having the knowledge of self, knowing who you are. Having the knowledge of the world that you are responsible for. Most people think they're responsible to try to change this world and change everybody and try to win them over to their religion or their denomination. No, you have to win your world in terms of win the battle for your mind. So you'll be in charge of your mind because everyone is all competing for your mind to make your clientele. But I'm saying to you, take control of your mind and you'll be able to take control of your life. And when you take control of your life, you're taking control of your world. Your life is your world, the world you're creating. I can know the world you create by the life you live. It's as simple as that. So don't try to change this world. Can't change this system. There, there, there are laws that cannot be changed. There are immutable laws. You can't check those laws. You can only check yourself. So it's time to wake up and be responsible for your world. The world is yours. Which world are you going to choose? A world of misery? A world of hell? Or a world of heaven? A world where you live life on your own terms. So with that being said, my brother, my sister, I want to thank you very much for listening to me. I want to say to you, if this is your first time you're listening to me, I want to say if it makes sense, if it really resonates with you, and you haven't subscribed already, I'm definitely encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment or uh, to share this video. Also, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram and you'd like to follow me on TikTok, you can follow me on Black Mad Guru. And I'll definitely encourage you also to get my latest book. It's called Spiritual Recipe 
for better living. And this is where I open the Bible to you esoterically, metaphysically, psychologically, and show you this precious story. It's all about using the power that is within you to create your reality consciously. So it's very important that you get that book for yourself, a family member, or some friend. Share it. Share the knowledge. Help somebody. People need this knowledge. Okay, so definitely I encourage you to go and get that book and give it your honest review also. Also, if you'd like to be a part of my Patreon community, you're most welcome. And there's a lot of good information that is available on my Patreon. And you can become a $5 uh, tire, $10, $15, $20, whatever you can afford. But for every tire, okay, there's certain privilege being given to you. For example, those who are donating 20 or more dollars, they have access to my course. It's called the inner sun science and technology to create your reality consciously and along with that is another bonus course called self-concept okay so if you want to learn more about self-concept and you want to learn more about the inner sun the inner power the more the inner intelligence that is within you you can definitely listen to those videos also if you'd like to do a one-on-one -on -one with me, you can reach out to me by way of email. And of course, there are terms and conditions. But as long as we come to a conclusion, we can definitely work together and go deeper down the rabbit hole. It's always very important that you invest in yourself. Also, I just want to remind you that if you feel strongly led to support this work, that we have a PayPal and that the link is always down below. So with that being said, my brother and my sisters, I just want to say peace. Love you all. I'm out.